there's nothing coming out of this headset yet, so nothing seems to be working. I've got you in the headset, because you got me. Yeah, I've got you. I've got you in the headset. I've got Chris's headset on now. He's out, so I've got. That's what I'm hearing you on. And talk All right, back in mind. All right, sounds good. Let me get down and see if who was it. Gentlemen, we would like to direct your attention to midfield at this time as we crown Miss Tornado 2021. These six young women have been raising money all summer long, with some of their events in person and some events being held on the internet. COVID-19 still played hard on these young women, but they did not let that stop them. These funds are used to help fund the Athletic Booster Club at Kaiser High School, along with the sport or sports teams of the candidate's choice. Without their efforts, many of the needs of the sports teams would not be fulfilled. What'd you say for the first half? Yeah, yeah, I already got that wrote down. Are, are you hearing me clear through the mic now? Are you hearing me clear uh, through my? Sometimes you get you get a little crackly on my headset too. <laughs> Check one two one two. Check one two. Okay. Scarlet's money will go to the girls and boys cross country teams and the track teams. Her fundraisers included holding raffles, selling seashell necklaces. Spirit Night, just to name a few. Scarlett would like to thank her mom, Amber Hatfield, Lori Shep, and Jennifer Seville, and everyone else who helped her with their support. Mr. Lonnie Pridemore is escorting Ms. Avery Everline this evening. Avery raised money for the girls' basketball and cross-country team. Her fundraisers included a 5K run, along with selling business and personal ads. Avery would like to thank all the people and businesses who helped and sponsored her 5K, along with a special thanks to Stephanie and Jeremy Schindler for helping her get sponsors to the race. Yeah, they don't ever get... Well, they're so used to Don Martinsburg and those guys. Right. 
No, he had it up. Yeah, my mic was up. Yeah, I just had it up so while we were talking. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Sorry. <laughs> right. That was it. No positions, nothing. Yeah. I forget. Um, like we had, we had somebody do it for us at Frankfurt. One of the teachers, like, volunteered to keep all that stuff up. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. I can see how easily that happens, though. It's there's so much stuff that goes unchecked on a lot of this. <laughs> so we got two, four, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, twenty one or two dressed. This has got to be the whole list then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. We gave up time this summer to help their fellow athletes and classmates. So let's please give these girls another great round of applause. Okay, here we go. Our second runner up is Miss Maddie Fisher. First runner up is Miss Alexa Shoemaker. And Miss Tornado 2021 is Miss Allie Smith. Congratulations to Miss Tornado 2021 and her court. Again, thank you for helping the student athletes of Kaiser High School by supporting this fundraiser year after year. Great job, ladies.
That's why I was going to ask. You want us to come in with uh, five minutes till? Yeah, you want to go with about five? They've got ten. Yeah, we got ten twenty on the clock right now. Can you hear? Can you hear both? You got Chris. Gotcha. At, the, at the five minute mark, um, just let me know and uh, we'll, we'll kick it live. Apparently, it's Hawaiian night for the Kaiser Crazies tonight. Friday night lights are back on in Kaiser, West Virginia. Good evening and welcome to tonight's broadcast of Kaiser Golden Tornado Football powered by the Belt Group. Tonight we see the 0-1 Berkeley Springs Indians facing off with your Kaiser Golden Tornado live here in Tornado Alley. I'm Chris Welch and with me tonight is my broadcast partner filling in for Matthew Shipway, Mr. Shane Corwell. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to be here. Great night for football. So tonight, this Berkeley Springs team coming in after an absolute shootout with Petersburg, losing to Petersburg in a tight matchup, 56 to 58. Their quarterback, someone to watch tonight, Gavin Barkley, who wears number 10. Last week, he threw for six touchdowns and ran for two more. Yeah, that's uh, that's taking the team on your shoulders there. Uh, Berkeley's always been. Uh, known to throw the ball a good bit in the games. It looks like they got plenty of talent out in the wings, and uh, 60 passes will make for a long game. The clock will stop a bit. Yeah, Berkeley Springs, they, they started dabbling in it a little bit last year, we've seen, where they're trying to run more of a spread offense. They're trying to air it out. You know, we, we, we talked about it a little bit last year as we went into the streams. Um, 
you know, a lot of the teams in the area are starting to go away from, you know, the Smash Mouth, Wing T. We're starting to get a lot more spread looks. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're definitely seeing this trend coming through. It's the Tiger High School Band comes out to do the national anthem. And we will take a quick pause here Man, as we prepare for the national anthem. Thank you to the Kaiser High School Band under the direction of Suzanne Warwick for tonight's national anthem. And I don't know if you can tell, Shane, but we have some people in the crowd, and it is a lovely sight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good, good traveling crowd by Berkeley, and the stands, home stands full, waiting for a good football game. So Kaiser coming in tonight in a quarterback battle. Uh, Seth Healy and Logan Road Truck have been taking reps throughout all through uh, the pre you know, preseason camp, and they're deciding to, to split reps. You know, they're going uh, quarter and quarter, according to Coach Derek Stevens. So that will be an interesting sight to see as uh, we alternate quarterbacks trying to see who's going to, you know, take the lead out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, in our, our small high school markets, there's worse problems than to have choice as a quarterback. Um, but it uh, be interesting to see how the young men treat the pressure and uh, see which one has the steady hand through the game. Healy, the, the senior, the more veteran, been in the offense a little longer. Road truck, a little bit thicker build, maybe a little more athletic. But overall, the, both of them are very competent quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah, looking at the athleticism of both. And uh, like you said, I think the, the hot hand is going to be the right call. And um, with not having the game last week definitely puts coaches under, uh, under scrutiny with this. But we'll see how this first round goes. So last week, Kaiser's game against Robert C. Bird was canceled uh, due to the ongoing uh, COVID pandemic. You know, we had some issues among players and coaching staffs and, and people, you know, testing positive going in. So they decided to cancel last week's game. And finally, here we are today. Kaiser High School gets their opening kickoff. Yeah, I'm sure the boys are excited um, as the team's preparing to enter the field here. In talks with Coach Derek Stevens, every – Every player has been cleared, so we will have, uh, you know, everybody here to play tonight, aside from a couple injuries here and there. Yeah, I know. I don't envy these ADs and the people that are the decision makers in this to tell a bunch of high school kids that sweat and work their butts off all, all summer long to get to the first game and then to, to have something like this come up and as a challenge. Uh, all more likely these guys are ready to roll tonight. I know the. I'm good friends with the athletic director, Travis Lillard, and I know – 
you know, you got to be pulling your hair out yeah. having to deal with this week in, week out. But I'm just glad to finally get some uh, action out here in Tornado Alley tonight. Absolutely. It looks like the captains are getting ready to take the field. Captains for tonight, we have number two, Benny Oates, number 24, Chase Evans, and number 38, Sammy Bradfield, as the Golden Tornado team makes their way towards the sideline. We're waiting to get a look here at uh, Berkeley Springs. Berkeley is sporting their, their away whites with a very challenging yellow number design. So looks like number 10, Gavin Barkley, and number 55, Hunter Ambrose, is your captains for the Indians. Our starting lineup for tonight, as we said before, Logan Rotruck and Seth Healy will be splitting at quarterback in the backfield. Obviously, we had Dre Allen graduating last year, and the type of talent that Dre was, you can't just replace that with just one man. So Kaiser's actually going to be rotating both Anthony Mealy and Chase Evans in a fullback. At halfback, we have Sammy Bradfield. Wingback, we have a rotation as well, replacing Zion Powell from last year. We have Hunter Van Pelt and Benny Oates. Tight end, we have Braden Emrick. Tackle, Samuel Hamrick. Excuse me, that's Braden Keller at tight end. Tackle, Samuel Hamrick. Guard, Caden Youngblood. Center, Luke Anderson. Guard, Gabe Ryan. Tackle, Connor Bennett. And at wide receiver, we have Seth Sines. And for the defense tonight for the Golden Tornado, we have uh, at corners, Hunter Van Pelt and Seth Healy. At safety, Sammy Bradfield. Your linebackers tonight are Benny Oates, Caden Youngblood, Chase Evans, Anthony Mealy. Your defensive ends are Gabe Bryan and Braden Keller. And your two tackles today are Jake Bonner and Luke Anderson. Gabe Ryan definitely one to look at as he's been registered on the, uh, throughout the state as one of the top five defensive linemen in the state of West Virginia. So he's definitely one to, to keep an eye on, number 64 tonight. Yeah, uh, the, the line's going to play big. Um, you know, football, whether you run the ball or throw the ball, it starts with the line and ends with the line. And whichever line can hold up the best tonight, you know, uh, the quickest way for Kaiser to shut the, the uh, passing game down is to get a good rush. We want to let everybody know that this year our scoreboard is being sponsored by Kaiser Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's was a good sponsor for us last year as well. Use code Kaiser Football Online to save 10% on your order tonight. I didn't see who won the toss, but it looks like Berkeley will be kicking off. I would say they won and elected to defer, but missed the signals there. And Kaiser making their way out as they get ready for this kickoff here. Looks like it's 21, Dustin Hinkle lining up for the kickoff for the Indians. And Berkeley Springs is lined up for the kick, and we are ready to kick off the 2021 season. False kick to the open space and out of bounds, which will drop a flag. Kaiser Good decision there. Good field position. And now we'll get our first look at the 2021 Kaiser High School offense, replacing some strong senior talent, Gavin Root, Zion Powell, Dre Allen, good group of guys in the backfield that we have some younger talent stepping in to, to replace. Definitely looks like Kaiser has the size uh, up front. Looks pretty evenly matched across. Uh, maybe a little edge to Kaiser here. Berkeley loading up the box. And handoff will be the Chase Evans. And he's going to get a good, strong carry. And we'll see what the decision by the referee is here. They're saying Berkeley Springs ball. Yeah, number nine, uh, Evan Thompson came away with a strip on the first roll there. The running back wasn't down, and when he went down on the ground, he had possession of the football. Evan Thompson rolled right over top of that ball, being handled by Chase Evans. Yeah, big and early early turnover there. Um, we'll see how the defense reacts now. Berkeley Springs going to start out here. 
Gavin Barkley back in shotgun. Got four receivers out wide. Yeah, trips to our side. Quick drop back. A little hook route there around the 40-yard line. Gain of looks about five or six on the play. Yeah, it seems uh, Berkeley Springs is going to spread them out and look for the holes in the defense. And this is exactly what we were talking about pregame. Berkeley Springs is going to line up and try to spread them out. More of a balanced look here with Twins. Kaiser only playing one single high safety. Motion coming across from right to left. Quick handoff outside to Evan Thompson, who's going to get a little bit of space to get the first down. Yeah, a little zone read there. Quarterback's reading the end. If he could get the edge there, give him the handoff and uh, pick up a nice gain on first down. First down run for Berkeley Springs. Uh, we got the chains moving as Berkeley Springs is making their way into Kaiser territory early on in this game. Berkeley looking to play with a little bit of a tempo here, breaking the huddle quick, getting line, getting to the line quick. Trips our side. Quick play action. It is tipped at the line. Ball will fall incomplete. Intended for, I believe it was number eight there, Chase Swink. Yeah, good job on penetration there. When you can't get home, got to get your hands up, get in, be a problem in the backfield. So good job there by the Kaiser line. Barkley once again, trip set to the right. He's going to drop back. Pressure coming to his face. And he drops it in. Tackled by Benny Oates. Number 14, Antonio Sanchez on the reception. Yeah, real good play there. Um, again, uh, Berkeley's just throwing First the ball to the open Berkeley space. Um, Kaiser may have to make a man-to-man -man adjustment here if we're going to – they're going to keep this approach. If they're going to stay in zone, it looks like uh, Gavin may pick them apart here if they stick in that zone look. Berkeley Springs with the ball at the 10-yard line. Coming out in a pistol set. Quick pitch out to Thompson. Shakes one tackler, but it is quickly brought down on the play. Great job by the Kaiser defense there. Uh, sniffed that play way out. Um, I was getting ready to say right before the snap, these high-power offices, you almost hate to be on the 10. They feel like they're limited with what they can do there. With the, the tighter space, it's kind of hard to spread it out and go. That was number 23, Hunter Van Peddle, the tackle there. Yeah, real good open field tackle there, and he had help coming. Barkley staying in the pistol set. One receiver left. Motion man. And pressure coming, and he's going to drop it right in over the top for a touchdown. Number 14, Seth Sines with a touchdown. Number 14, Antonio Sanchez on the catch. Oh, my bad. We had a flag down here, trying to see what the call is. An yep. eligible man. Eligible man downfield will replay second down, so second and 20. Yeah, I don't know if that was a, uh, a design pa run pass play, um, and the lineman got confused there because there was a play action fake there, but either way, one of the linemen too far downfield. Might have been trying to run like an RPO concept type, and the uh, lineman got a little moved down, yeah. a little too far downfield. Motion man coming from left to right. Barkley takes a snap, drop backs, rolled out to his right. Gets hit as he throws, and it is in and out of the hands of Sammy Bradfield. Yeah, Sammy definitely would like to have that one back, that one right in, right between the three and the eight, but good job there by the defense putting fly and a lot of pressure. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors tonight, the Kaiser Moose. An official viewing location of tonight's broadcast. Quarterback shotgun takes a snap. Draws back. Pressure coming. He's trying to throw it in over the top. And Seth Healy almost one-handed it. Ball falls incomplete into the end zone. 
Yeah, great job there. Once again, pressured hard by Gabe Ryan there coming off the edge. Unblocked. That's not going to be a good game plan for Berkeley, leaving him unblocked all night. Yeah, when you got guys like Jake Bonner and Gabe Ryan coming off the edge of three, that's not going to be a good day. Berkeley Springs lining up in the field goal here. High snap. Kick is up, and it is very short. Great job by the Kaiser defense there. Uh, two spectacular plays in the defense there. Give the ball back and uh, starting back about where they had the ball originally. So now the Kaiser offense will get another chance here in Curious what's going on here. The referees so, put the ball down at the one-yard line. This is one of the rare situations that pretty much only happens in high school football. The ball never crossed the end line, so technically it was a punt. So the field goal counts as a punt. Right. If the ball doesn't cross the goal line there, wow. That would have been a it could have been a touchback back to the 20, but, yeah, so this is a free kick. It's no different than a punt. So now Kaiser starting off with their back against the wall here on the one-yard line. Interesting little wrinkles in high school football. Motion comes across, handoff inside. I tell you, number nine, Evan Thompson, right in the hole again. Good play up the middle there. And ball basically just moved close towards the middle of the field. I don't think they gained, a, gained an anything on that one. So Kaiser, second down from the one-inch line. Yeah, we'll see what Coach has here. This may not be a bad time for Logan just to take one under the snap just to get some breathing room here. Quick drop back, and he's going to throw it up, and the flags come out. Yellow's dressed all over the field. we got a pass interference call, it looks like. Yeah, tough call there. Uh, good th uh, The pass was underthrown, and uh, the Berkeley defender never turned back for the ball. So Seth, Seth is, is pretty lucky that the uh, – the defender there didn't have his head around because that ball was ducked up in the air for a good while. Either way, that gives them the breathing room that they need to operate here on this first drive. Settle in, run your offense, don't panic. Excuse me, that is uh, Logan Roadtruck who's under center right now. Looks like we had false start there on the outside. We have an illegal procedure penalty against Tiger. The first and illegal procedure. Against, uh, I believe it was Seth Signs there out wide. Yeah, just a little quick on the jump there. There, Berkeley's playing bump coverage there. So, Road Truck is going to hand it off, and good run on the play by Sammy Bradfield. Sammy Bradfield with the game back some of the yardage from the penalty. Yeah, good move here by Kaiser. Oh, Jump right into the snow huddle. Got to pick six up six them. now. Motion is Van Pelt. Van Pelt will take the handoff. He's going out wide. And he is brought down by his ankles. Van Pelt tackled for about a three-yard loss. Looks like number eight, Chase Swink on the play there. Kaiser had the right idea there, trying to stretch it out wide, but just couldn't get that edge block where it needed to be. Yeah, Swink did a good job of shedding that blocker and making an open field tackle. Without that tackle, he might still be running. Back in shotgun is road truck. He's going to drop back. He's going to roll out. He's going to tuck it. He's going to make one man miss. And he is brought down right at the marker. Looks like it will be about a yard short. Nice carry by Logan Road Just short of the first down. Gain of about five on the play for Road Truck, but Kaiser deciding to play it safe and bring out the punt team. Yeah, definitely not a bad move here. Uh, deep in your, in your zone early in the game. Don't want to go for this one. Back for the punt is Seth Ernest. Snap is clean. Kick is high. And will roll out of bounds just past the 50. Ball rolls out midfield. Berkeley Springs is going to take over on offense at midfield. Yeah, we'll see if uh, you know they come back to that passing game. 
Berkeley did a good job moving the ball down the field, but again got to the 10 and got stalled with some penalties and some really good defense by, the, by Kaiser. And back out is Barkley at quarterback. Empty set. Empty set, five wide. Barkley will take the snap. Steps up. He is throwing it deep and just off the fingertips of his intended receiver. That's number six, Sean Lord. Yeah, good job there. Uh, he just outran the defense. Just a, just a half step too far. I tell you what, Barkley has a good arm on him, man. He can zip that thing downfield. Kaiser's going to see that empty set, and they're going to have to start bringing pressure. Um, they're going to have to get on him quick if the front four can't get there. We'd like to thank our sponsor, the Belt Group, for powering tonight's production. They provided us with a generator that produ uh, runs our production bus. We'd like to thank the Belt Group for everything they've done for us at Allegheny Media. A little bit of confusion there from the Indians on the lineup. Uh, good use of their first time out here. Don't want to try to get back too much on this. Well, we got a moment. We'll take a word from our sponsor, Coldwell Banker. Hi, I'm Logan Del Sigma, realtor with Coldwell Banker Hometown Realty in Kaiser, West Virginia. I've been with Coldwell Banker for three years now, servicing West Virginia and Western Maryland. Prior to joining Coldwell Banker, I graduated from West Virginia University with a degree in marketing and sales. It's a 21st century world we live in, and you need someone with 21st century knowledge and expertise to get the job done. I'm a full-time and full-service agent. I've helped clients in the commercial sector, residential properties, investment properties, and with lands and farms. If you're a seller, I'm there with you from the day we list the property until the day we go to the closing table. Thank you once again to Caldwell Banker for being a sponsor for our broadcast as Kaiser's defense makes their way back out onto the field after the Berkeley Springs timeout. Berkeley right at midfield, uh, out in an empty set here. Motion man across with a quick toss, and he has nowhere to go as he is quickly brought down on the play. That is number 88, Braden Keller on the tackle. Yeah, a little touch pass there to Lord coming across. Uh, anytime that play has to cut back, that's usually trouble for that. That's usually a quick hitter to get outside. Looked like the old uh, West Virginia Tavon Austin play. Exactly. Barkley back in a pistol set. Single back behind him. Brings Lord across the formation. He's going to drop back quick. Hitch, he makes the throw, and it is just behind the intended receiver, number 11, Gavin Young. Yeah, right behind the, uh, the receiver there, had a step on the, the corner on the slant route there, but great job by Kaiser not bending there. Get the ball right back to your offense. Back to return for Kaiser. Looks like number 23, Hunter Van Pelt. And number 38, I believe, Sammy Bradfield. Punt is up, and it will bounce off of Bradfield. And lucky for him, collected by a member of the Golden Tornado. I think Healy got that. Very advantageous spot there. Good work. Back out of quarterback is Logan Roadtruck. Road truck will be back in shotgun, single back to his left side. Quick handoff there to Chase Evans, pushing his lineman out of the way. He's making his way up the field, and he will go down close to the 40. Good run on the play by Chase Evans, pushing his lineman through. Yeah, good 15-yard gain there, uh, some good tough running. Kaiser offense coming back quick to the line at the 40. Road truck under center. False start. And we have a false start on the play. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Berkeley's using some size advantage there and trying to uh, run a six-man front here, control the line of scrimmage. If we, if if Kaiser can break through that six-man line, they're going to be running. Berkeley stacking the box once again. And this time the nose tackle steps over the line, encroachment. So that encroachment call will nullify the false start as we remain at first and 10 for the third play in a row. <laughs> Just trading penalties back and forth, adrenaline. Red truck takes a snap and hand off to Benny Oates and he trucks through a defender. Where's the truck horn when you need it? <laughs> Great job there by Benny running out that crisscross route there, the double handoff. Benny Oates laying the boom for the first down. Back in shotgun is road truck. Hand off up the middle. Sammy Bradfield's going to break free. He's shaking, he's baking, and he's taking it to the house. No Touchdown. flag on the field. Great 49-yard scamper there by Mr. Bradfield. Good inside hand on the safety. So with that, that we'll, we'll call that one, since it's the first touchdown drive of the year, we'll call that our Timbrook play drive. There you go. Extra points wide left. Kaiser gets on the bird board first here in the first quarter. Thank you to our sponsor, Timbrook Automotive, for sponsoring our play drive. Yeah, once again, Kaiser are doing a good job of getting in the secondary there. Um, uh, once again, Berkeley's may have to make an adjustment with that six-man line. If Kaiser's front man are going to handle them, they're going to have to drop to a five or uh, bring a linebacker back to to handle this running game. Sammy Bradfield, one of the good, good seniors on this team. His grandfather was a, a legend with uh, Kaiser High School, member of one of our state championship teams. And Sammy just carrying on the lineage. Yeah, great job on that drive um, and, and a great way to take it to the house, 49 yards for a big run. Now as we line up for our kickoff here, Seth Bone Crusher Ernest lining up for the kick. And the kickoff is up. Solid kick by Ernest. Collected at the 15 yard line. And cut some gang tackling, some shaking, some bacon. And eventually gobbled up. Got a late flag there. Maybe some extracurricular in the pile there. Referee might have heard a couple words he might not have liked. Usually the case. We'll see what the official call is on the penalty. Yeah, we didn't see any really action, so I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I think that's going to be on uh, somebody's mouth running there a little bit. It happens with these young men. They get in the heat of battle. And, and now we have another look at the Berkeley Spring offense. Berkeley takes a snap. Rolls out and is brought down by Braden Keller. Yeah, once again, this is the second or third time that these DNs are not blocked, and that is an absolute adjustment Berkeley's going to have to make. 
definitely one of the strong points of this Kaiser defense is, is the rush off the edges that they, that they provide. Yeah, it seemed like that was going to be a bootleg, bootleg away uh, from Braden, and he, he trucked it down. Three receivers outright. Snap is back. And good throw, complete on the play. The Lord makes one man miss and is pushed out of bounds around the 45. Yeah, real nice pass and catch there by the Indians. Um, once again, throwing to the open spot, getting all of that yardage back. They will mark him out at the 47. First yeah, you, down for the Indians. You really have to give Gavin credit. I mean, taking a big hit like that and then coming right back, hit that back foot and throw the ball right on target. So definitely comfortable back there. Remaining in shotgun is Barkley. Snap back, hand off to Thompson, who's going to bounce it out wide. And he is hit hard on the play. Sammy Bradfield laying the boom. Yeah, good hard football there, hard running, hard hits. Uh, about a three-yard game, four-yard game for the Indian. Barkley takes a snap, rolls out to his right side. He's looking for someone. And he held it just for just too long there. Yeah, you'd like to see your quarterback get rid of that one there. You got all the time to throw it out, take a six-yard loss there. Could have yeah, made the decision four. to throw away there or even just tuck and just try to gain a yard. He kept waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen. Eventually, the Kaiser defense got to him. Brayton yeah. Keller once again. Great job by the Kaiser secondary and coverage there. Long time to cover. Third and 13. Barkley back. Tipped up in the air and incomplete. You'd almost have to think somebody was wrong there. We had two, and Berkeley had two receivers there in the same area going for the same ball there. It looked like a miscommunication. You had, you had the two receivers both running that hook route there, just kind of stacked on top of one another. As Berkeley Springs will line up for the punt once again. Back is Bradfield and Van Pelt. Kick is up and a little short. Collected by Van Pelt, who makes a man miss. Oh, what a shot. Van Pelt going up the field. They're going to out zone. of bounds. Flag down in the end zone for a crackback. Yeah, there was two crackback hits there. Pretty hard shots. So good effort by the Kaiser punt, punt return team, but all in all, we've got to protect the players, so. Yeah, nobody likes to see these flags, but this is definitely one of the ones we got to try to get out of this sport. Um, it happens at every level. It's almost like every level you see a punt return, you just start looking for the flag, so. Um, but good, good work all the way around there by the, by the Kaiser punt return team. Good effort by Van Pelt to make a man miss and head off down the sideline. But sadly, we'll back the Kaiser offense up towards their own end zone. Kaiser looks like they'll be taking possession at the three-yard line. Yep. About a 45-yard change in position, field position there. we got two minutes left, two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Kaiser presently up 6-0 as they take another offensive possession in their own end zone. Road truck hand up up the middle will gain a couple. Get a little breathing room there. Try to get out of the shadow there a little bit. Brings up second down. And the carry there was Anthony Mealy. 
Road truck takes a snap. Handoff on the play, Sammy Bradfield. Stiffs arms a man, makes him miss. Breaks another one's ankles. Does he have the gas to go downfield? Shoves off another, and he is going to take it. 94 yard 94 touchdown. yard touchdown, Sammy Bradfield. Very good job with the line up front, giving him the hole to go through, and then it was all Sammy from there. Just the speed and the power. Very good run. I think our sponsor, Timbrook Automotive, needs to hire Samuel Bradfield because he is the drive. He is the drive. Very nice, very nice. Now Kaiser will be lining up for the extra point. Snaps a little high, kick is up, and good. So now Kaiser High School is up 13 nothing. Yeah, that's uh, that. Obviously, you could say a good drive, but two good plays there. Uh, you know, just trying to make some room uh, and let your offense work, and then one big play like that. Um, again, get past the line, you seal your edge. Um, there, there could be a few of these tonight if Berkeley doesn't make any adjustments. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Burlington First Baptist Church. Pastor Tom Caldwell holds services every Sunday. You can watch live on Facebook or listen live on 107.1 FM. Thank you, Burlington First Baptist, for being a part of our broadcast. Yeah, we'd like to take a special minute to thank all of our sponsors. Um, without the community, it's very hard to make this possible. Um, it's an understatement to say that people don't know what it takes to bring this out and, and the, the level and the quality that's provided by Allegheny Media. So definitely appreciate everybody in the community that helps bring this coverage for high school sports. And again, big thanks to the production team at Allegheny Media for making all this possible. Now as both teams come out for the ensuing kickoff. Looks like Lord and Young back for, I believe it's Young for the Indians, number 11. Ernest setting up the tee. Quick little chop kick out to the side, and it will roll out of bounds. Very close. Yeah, risky play there by Lord, letting that one roll. One little roll with the ball the other way, and that could have been Kaiser's ball at the 20. Kaiser could have picked that up, took that the other way real quick. But ball does luckily roll out of bounds for Berkeley Springs. Will provide them possession at the 35-yard line. Keep an eye on the ends here on 88 and 64. See who's unblocked this time. And the pistol set is Barkley. Snap back. He will hand it off up the middle. And the back will gain a couple of yards. Looks like about a game of three. Yeah, just a straight read there by uh, by Gavin there. Um, Ends crash, so you hand it into the middle. So good, good play there by an inch for three games. Evan Thompson trying to power it up in there. Will be second and seven for the Indians. Quick read, bubble screen out. And that would be number six, Sean Lord on the reception. Good enough for the Berkeley Springs Sean first down. Lord. Yeah, Sean, uh, benefit there of a nice block out in front by Sanders to take care of the corner there. <clears throat> nice little bubble screen. Yeah, once again, if you're Berkeley here, you just got to calm down, get yourself a drive, try to get on the board here to stay in pace with Kaiser. Three receivers to the right side. 
Snap back, quick handoff up the middle, and he is swallowed up quick by the Golden Tornado defense. Late penalty there coming in. It's number 74, Jacob Keating on the tackle. Keating brings down the ball carrier for Kaisers. We have a flag on the field. It looked like it was a... The dirty laundry is being waved off. May have been an encroachment there, maybe. I think the side judge thought he saw, or maybe he thought the nose guard was lined up over the ball. But either way, no, no penalty on the play. More than likely be the last play of the first quarter here. Got four receivers wide, one back. The Gavin drops back, pump fake, quick toss out. And off of the hands of the Lord. Looking like this is probably going to be a hold on the Indians on the inside there. Good call there, Shane. It looked like uh, Cole Bernard there, number 70. Anytime you get beat on the outside like that and you're staring right at the official, that's a hard one to, to get away with. Now we will have about a second and 20 here. As our first quarter clock is winding down, looks like this might be the last play. And it looks like they're just going to let the clock run out here as we end the first quarter with your Kaiser Golden Tornado up 13 nothing against the Berkeley Springs Indians. Once again, we'd like to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Kaiser Fox's Pizza Den, for being a part of our broadcast and being our scoreboard sponsor for this season. Remember to use code Kaiser Football Online to save 10% on your order tonight. And real quick, let's take a minute to hear a word from our sponsor, Timbrook Automotive. Hi, I'm Fred Timbrook Jr. And at Timbrook Automotive, we make car buying easy. When you buy from us, you can expect your experience to be transparent and stress-free. For your convenience, we have locations in Cumberland, Oakland, and Kaiser, which means you can get the finest cars at the lowest prices close to home. Visit us today at any of our locations to experience the Timbrook difference or shop online at timbrook.com. And we're back here at the start of the second quarter. Berkeley lines up, trips to our side, left side of the field with a second and 21, we'll call it. Snap back to Barkley. Pressure coming, he's stepping up, throws it on the run, and it will go out of bounds. Nice pass rush by the Kaiser front line. Incomplete to the Kaiser coach there on the sideline. Yeah, good uh, good job for the, the pass rush didn't get home there, but they forced him up and made him step up to uh, make that throw quicker than he really wanted to. Kaiser maintaining only bringing a four or five man rush, but still getting home to Barkley. Yeah, definitely doing a good job putting the pressure on and keeping him off his mark. Four men wide, pistol set. Snap is back, Barkley dropping back, pressure coming to him. And it is in and out of the hands of Hunter Van Pelt. Yeah, another good opportunity there for an interception, but you know, the pass deflection works just as good as that brings up fourth down. You can tell by his body language there. Hunter was upset he didn't didn't bring that one in. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely would like to uh, would have brought that one in. See what the punt brings here. Back once again is Van Pelt and Bradfield. The punt is up, and it will roll to Bradfield there. 
who will be quickly brought down by the Indian punt team. Kaiser will take over at the 30-yard line. Yeah, nice little job of punting coverage there. Um, after the last big run, that was a good job of uh, Berkeley making an adjustment for there. Once again, a great job by the Tornado defense there to make sure that they get the ball right back into this red-hot offense hands. We had, just as advertised, we have number seven, Seth Healy back at, the, at quarterback now in the second quarter here. Man comes across in motion, handoff to Van Pelt out wide. He's looking for a seam. Van Pelt's going to cut up. He is taken off and he is gone. You are not going to catch him as he takes it to the house on the first play. And sadly, looks like we have a penalty flag down back at the 30. Let's see what the call is. Kaiser offense is walking back, so it looks like it's going to be against the Kaiser offense. Didn't see a call. Uh, looks like a chop block was, was the call there. Which that one really stings because the, the flag flag was thrown over on the back side, so it was away from the play anyway. Yeah, definitely away from the play. Um, unfortunate, but once again, looks like uh, Berkeley has made an adjustment to go to the four-man front, bringing a few linebackers into the game. Handoff on the play. He's going to bounce out wide. That's Sammy Bradfield again. Going to drop the shoulder and be brought down. At the 46. Yeah, good job. The, these guys are running backs are getting untouched to the second level. So, Sammy Bradfield, 31 yard touch. Much of that goes to the front line. We got a crisscross handoff to Benny Oates on the play, bringing the stiff arm, stumbling and bumbling his way to another Kaiser first down. Yeah, once again, he's seven, eight yards down the field before he's even touched. Gain of almost 20 on the play for Oates. Healy takes a snap, rolling out to his right side. He is throwing it to Braden Keller on the money. Keller, stiff arm his defender, taking it to the house. Very nice wag around there, working in Healy with ball good throw to the fly ground on a touchdown to go up 19 very nice design very nice play Seth Healy with the 34 yard touchdown pass to Braden Keller and you could not have placed that ball any better that's exactly how you how you run that one up in practice yeah great job there um, he was wide open hit him right uh, right where he needs to be right in stride great job uh, offense putting the points back on the board the Seth Ernest kick is up and good. Putting Kaiser up now, 20 to nothing. We'll pause for a word from one of our sponsors, Wheelhouse Academy. Thank you to the Wheelhouse Academy and my partner Shane Corwell. Thank you. Yeah, we have uh, several of our uh, baseball players out in the fall here playing football. 
Squib kick out with the bounce. Good job by the lineman there, number 64. Demario Cook to make the play there. Healy was on his, on his heels. He wanted that ball. I don't want to hear anybody say the big men can't have hands. <laughs> All right, it's going to be crucial time for Berkeley now. This is a really important drive in this football game. Berkeley Springs needing to answer back to the Kaiser offense. Quick pitch out wide. Makes one man miss. He is bouncing out. Sammy Bradfield trying to chase him and pushes him out of bounds. Good gain on the play. Looked like Evan Thompson on the run there for, for the Indians. Good bear, burst of speed coming through. Definitely a good start that the Indians needed on the drive there. A, a good call, you know, taking advantage. Kaiser's been getting home at the quarterback, so a little delayed draw there. Let the big boys get upfield and then run past them. Four here's out wide. Three to the left, one to the right. Snap will be back to Barkley. Quick handoff up the middle to Thompson, who will gain about three on the play. Yeah, good mix. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if we've, if we've seen back-to-back -back running plays from Berkeley yet, but uh, you know, sprinkling in the running game with the passing game. Jacob Keating on the tackle there. Balance set, four receivers out. Another handoff here. Thompson dragging a couple Kaiser players with him as he will get the first down. I'll tell you what, Evan Thompson has, has been pretty dynamic for this Berkeley Springs team, both offensively and defensively. He's been making plays everywhere. Yeah, he's been uh, all over the ball in defense, and he's uh, showing that speed now. Good time for a timeout. Good call by the Kaiser coaching staff here. Just regroup, you know, look and pass, and then we come back to run. So, While we take this quick timeout, we'd like to thank our official watch party of tonight's stream, the Kaiser Moose. Thank you for being an official viewing location of Kaiser High School Golden Tornado Football presented by Allegheny Media. So, yeah, I mean, after a couple couple quick run plays, I mean, that, that, that's the first time all night that they've ran three th runs in a row. Yeah, and uh, yeah, little, little caught, caught Kaiser a little bit off guard there. Um, make the adjustment here once again. As we saw earlier in the game, they're down here in the red zone where this is where it's tough sledding. Yeah, as you mentioned at the beginning of the game, these, these spread offenses don't like red zone offense because it, it restricts them on just how much they can do. Pistol set is Barkley. Quick drop back. He's going to try and throw it in over the top and off the fingertips. Have. We have a flag down. Might be offensive PI there. Let's wait and see what the call is here. Kaiser rotating some of that defensive line in. Talking to Gavin about the call, so maybe it was a defensive PI there. <laughs> defensive holding. Looks like the defender maybe got his arm around on the receiver there as he went up for the catch. Brings up the elusive first and three here. Quick handoff up the middle. And Thompson will get it across for the touchdown. Yeah, good job of finishing the run there. Uh, good drive by Berkeley. Uh, four runs, uh, one penalty, no passes. Which has been a very significant changeup from how their offense has been running prior throughout this game. 
Yeah, as we said earlier, a very important, very important drive for them. Uh, you know, now they've got to wait on a uh, Kaiser mistake here to try to get the ball back to make up some of these points. As they line up here for the extra point. Snap is down. And the kick is good. With 9.30 left in the second quarter, we have the uh, Golden, Golden Tornado at 20 and Berkeley Springs Indians 7. While we wait for the ensuing kickoff, let's hear a word from one of our sponsors. Emergency care or not requires special training. The next time you visit an urgent care, ask if your doctor is board certified in emergency medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Rana Mathias Monso. I'm board certified in emergency medicine, and I'm trained to recognize when a condition may require more than just an urgent care evaluation. I believe in treating each patient individually, not just as another number. Health Matters Urgent Care. Better medicine, exceptional care. Barton Boulevard, next to the Bel Air Plaza. Thank you to Health Matters Urgent Care and Dr. Ron Mathias Monceau for being a sponsor of Kaiser Golden Tornado Football. As we have some scores from around the area here, Frankfurt currently up 14-0 on Hampshire. And still early in the first quarter between Pocahontas County and Moorefield, and Jefferson and Sharando are tied at 7. Once again, back for Kaiser to return. The kickoff is Van Pelt and Bradfield. Kick is up. It is a high dud that doesn't roll, and they are able to take advantage of it and fall on top. Berkeley Springs will gain possession at yeah, about nice 38. Yeah, nice little pooch kick there. Um, just landed in dead man's land. Uh, called that the old pitching wedge shot throw it up <laughs> in the air and it's stuck right in the ground yeah most times when you see kickers they, they do that they go for like a squib and, and hope for a bounce that time they just shot put it up in the air and just let it with the drop uh, and die. with the change in the rule two years ago where you're now allowed to fair catch that that ball when you pump when you punch it down into the ground that's really changed the kicking game so now looking to capitalize is berkeley springs offense back is barkley quick hitch He's trying to bounce it back out. He's rolling, looking for someone, finds a receiver, shakes off a Kaiser defender, and gets taken out of bounds. That was a whole lot of action there. Yeah, number 11, Gavin Young on the reception there for a gain of six. I got to give it to Barkley, even in the midst of all the calamity of the Kaiser defense getting in his face. He's still able to roll out and find a man. Yeah, he, uh, he keeps his eyes downfield well, finds his open receiver. Four receivers out wide. Snap back, quick handoff up the middle. And once again, it's Evan Thompson making some Kaiser defenders go for a ride. Right at the sticks there, going to be close. Whitecap, take a look. Third and inches here. It looks like they're probably no more than four or five inches away. This is where the old school football coach in me always gets driven, uh, drives me nuts. Third and inches, and we stay in shotgun and snap the ball five <laughs> yards back. Snap back, quick handoff, and Gabe Ryan able to get in there, but not enough as Berkeley Springs will get the first down on the play. That was Connor Duvall on the carry. See if Berkeley Springs comes with a little play action or something here and try to get these linebackers jumping the run now. He was on the island out there by himself. Quick drop is Barkley. Pressure coming to him. Drops it off to Lord, who makes a couple men miss. He's bouncing. And he is finally brought down for the first down. Gain of about 12 on the play. 
Once again, great job by Gavin. Uh, Braden Keller breathing right, right down at him, unblocked. Found the open receiver. Sean Lord was waiting there on the on the short route and was able to make some men miss and get the first down. Berkeley could still pick up a first down here at the three. And we got a motion man coming across, setting up for trips on the left side. Motion back side. And the ball was tipped on the pass by Braden Keller. Braden Keller had nothing but grass in front of him on that one. Good job Good getting the tip drill there. Braden Keller doing a great job tonight, getting, getting pressure into the backfield. Yeah, I like the, the play design there, get the motion going one way and then try to, to bring the flow back the other side. Trips to the right, pay attention to Lord in the slot. Handoff on the inside zone run play there. Looks like Thompson again. Gain of about five, it looks like. Brings up an important third down here for Berkeley. Even though they are tight to that hash, they're still running trips out there. And the ball is almost intercepted on the slant route. Healy was right there. Yeah, great job with Healy. He's out there on the island by himself, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and that play's not going to work. That's some, some trust by the Kaiser High School coaching staff to just let Healy be on his own out there. Yeah, he did a great job, played that slant just the way you do, go right through the receiver to the ball. I've heard of uh, of Revis Island, but th that's Healy's house out yeah. there. Back is Barkley. Going to throw it to the back corner of the end zone and in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Good it, throw there by Gavin Barkley to the back corner. Just it looked, wasn't enough. It looked like the receiver lost his footing there, number 11. <clears throat> Gavin Young uh, stumbled there back in the backside of the end zone, but a great stop by this Kaiser Tornado defense. Now Kaiser will take over about the eight-yard line. Snap back to Healy. He's going to hand it off to Anthony Mealy, who is brought down in the backfield. Will be a loss for the Kaiser offense. It looks like Thompson. Evan Thompson back on the ball again. Evan Thompson coming hard from that outside linebacker position. Yeah, I think he's reading the guard and, and shooting the gap as soon as he sees the pool because he's in the backfield just as much as the, the running back is. Healy out in a double wing offense here. Brings a man in motion. Hand off to Chase Evans on the play. We'll gain back the yardage loss from the last play. Brings up about a third and nine here. Let's see what Kaiser has planned here for this third and long. Berkeley Springs running a, a looks like a double safety. Hand off to Van Pelt out on the edge. He's making some man miss. He's going out into the open field. You're not going to catch him. Hunter Van Pelt is going to take it to the house. Holding on the edge. Once again, though, it looks like it's going to be called back. Referee blowing the whistle flick at the end of this one. That's the second one that's been taken away from Van Pelt. The Kaiser High School fans. Yeah, Kaiser obviously doesn't like that call. Um, it looked like he had a hold on the edge there to get to the edge. But a great run uh, you know, by Hunter Van Pelt just showing off the speed. Our uh, Hawaiian shirt wearing student section over here. They were not very happy about that penalty either. 
I tell you what, it's just nice to be able to look down here in the stands below us and just see a bunch of black and yellow. We missed it having this last year. Be beautiful night for football. Big third and 15 now. Healy will roll out. Stop, pop, throw out to Benny Oates. He's going to collect it and lower the boom once again, but will step out of bounds. And it looks like it's going to be pretty close here. We right at the stick. Maybe just short. Looks like the white cap's going to call for a measurement. Healy found Oates out there on that corner route. Looks like he kind of bobbled it there for a second. He had to recollect that ball, but then once he grabbed it. Yeah, good job getting upfield and, uh, like you said, lowering his shoulder and delivering the hit to get to the yardage that he did. This could bring up an interesting decision for Coach. See what we do here. It's going to be a very close call here. Let's see what the measurement looks like. And looks like it will be short. Links. So let's see what Coach Derek Stevens is going to do here. Big decision, you know, you don't want to give the ball right back to Berkeley in scoring position, but it would be real nice to continue this drive, especially after hitting that home run. It looks like they're going. And it looks like they're re remeasuring. We heard the instructions from up top from some one of the coaches to do not jump, which is really good advice on this, this play right here. So it looks like we got a fourth and very short here. And Kaiser's going to make the gutsy call. They're going to go for it here on fourth and short. Yeah, Kaiser needs half the football to get the first down. Four down line. Take, take the quarterback, the quarterback sneak. Motion comes across. And he's going to hand it off. Chase Evans, who absolutely barrels through the defender. Guys are right back on the ball. Sometimes you're the nail, and that time Chase Evans was the hammer. Sammy Bradfield has nowhere to go on the play as he is bottled up. Yeah, good penetration there on Berkeley on the right side. Read some body language. Berkeley's looking tired. Healy back under center. He's going to roll it out. Stop. He's going to pop. And it will fall. Looks incomplete to yeah, Braden Keller. Tough play there by Braden. Uh, tried to run there before he secured the football. Um, tough, tough drop there, but come right back to it. That plays there. Keller tried turning upfield just a, a second too early before he could get it fully secured. And the rule states that, you know, if it is a catch, you have to make a full football move, and it was in and out, so they deemed it incomplete. Shotgun is Healy. Freeze Van Pelt in motion. He will keep it and will take it up. Healy making a man miss and will go down. Yeah, nice quarterback draw there. Uh, fake the, the run and let the quarterback take the hold. 19-yard gain for Healy there. On the looks like a like a quarterback power. Healy remaining in shotgun, bringing Van Pelt in motion. Handoff out wide to Van Pelt. Makes a man miss, and he is powering his way through. Two. Two flags on the 50 for that same hold on the corner. I tell you, Van Pelt has to be sick. Every time he touches the ball, it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at least tell Coach to try the other side. <laughs> As we got some flags down on the play. Once again, it's tough. Uh, you know, when you're that tight end or that tackle out there wide open, if you get that left arm out where the, where the side judge can see it, it's a pretty easy call, um, not favorable, but it's a, it's a tough play to get that edge. 
Cows are taking it at first and 15 now. Snap quarterback will keep it, and he will gain maybe two on the play. Yeah, it came back to that quarterback power. Uh, faked the dive there back to it. Yeah, tried to read it and seen the defense crash in. Thought he could tuck and try and sneak up through there and was quickly bottled up. It was definitely the right read. The defense end stayed home and had the back covered, so. Man in motion. Quick draw back is Healy. Pressure's coming. He steps up, and he is brought down on the play. That'll go down as a sack as it was a yard loss there. That was number six, Sean Lord, on the sack. So Good job of pursuit there. You know, as a coach, you teach these kids to keep the motor going, and he never stopped. And I was able to catch Healy from behind. So now we got third and long here. Draw play up the middle. Sammy Bradfield's going to bounce it out wide. He's going to split the defenders. He has one to make miss. He shoves him away. He's going down the sideline and into the end zone. Sammy Bradfield, eat your heart out. Number three on the day with the hat trick. Yeah, great job by Sammy there. Uh, the line gave him the whole great job finishing the playoff there. Kaiser with that long delayed draw. He had all kinds of room there at the front line and was able to make some men miss and get to the end zone. Yeah, kudos to the coaching staff. Good call there um, as the rushers were coming forward, expecting a pass. And kick will be no good as the handle was botched a little bit. 26 to 7 with two minutes and 15 seconds left in this game. Kaiser remains up. And just as every other touchdown the St. Bradfield's had today, that would be the Timbrook play drive presented by Timbrook Automotive. Special shout out to everybody watching uh, the stream live for us. Uh, drop a comment, let us know what you think, where you're watching from, and support these young athletes out here. Really impressive drive there by Kaiser. One of the things that's impressed me is, is they're not letting the mistakes bother them. A lot of teams will get rattled whenever you have these holding calls and these plays bring back. They just keep coming back and going to work. So great you, job of these when you see the coaching going staff back, and the kids. Yeah, when you see yourself going back, you know, first and 20, second and 15, stuff like that, it's easy to get discouraged and just kind of wash the drive. But, you know, they're, they're staying disciplined and they're sticking to their guns and, and, you know, what they do well. And it's been working out for them really well tonight. Number 39, Seth Ernest lining up for the kick. Let's see what he has planned here. And he will take it deep. Collected on the play by Berkeley Springs. And brought down by a gang of Kaiser defenders. Looks like number 32, Keith Lawrence, on the tackle. Looks like number 14, Andrew Sanchez, on the, the kick return there. <laughs> See what Berkeley comes back with if they stay true to the running game that was successful in the last drive or if they uh, kind of hit the panic button here and try to get back to the air too much. Lining out and a single back to the right side of Gavin Barkley. Quick drop back by Barkley. Throws a short hook route. And that receiver better be careful. That was dangerous trying to stretch that ball out there. Yeah, Lord trying to reaching out there trying to get extra yardage that ball could get knocked out pretty pretty easy there but good catch and good run We're about an eight yard game Berkeley Springs quick to the line trying to keep this ball moving four receivers out wide 
Man in motion. Snap back to Barkley. Throws it out into the flat. And he is wrestled down. Yeah, great job by Benny Oates there. Open field tackle wasn't going anywhere. Benny Oates getting hyped out there and making that tackle. Good open field wrap up. Minute and 15 left in the quarter. May have to see a little bit more hurry up from this Berkeley offense here. Clock is rolling. Snap back, pressure coming from up the middle. Gabe Ryan is chasing him down. Barkley throws it on the run. It is tipped off the receiver's hands and intercepted on the play. Incomplete. Referee waves it off, incomplete. Once again, another unfavorable call there. The guys are faithful here, letting them hair. But Anthony Mealy almost had that one brought in. Just now under a minute down. here. Second down here for this Berkeley Springs offense. Clock stopped at 56 seconds. Ball tipped off the hands of the receiver once again. Antonio Sanchez there, the, Antonio, the intended receiver ball just off his hands. <clears throat> Stops the clock, third and ten. Kaiser looking to make a quick stop here. Uh, two timeouts left. Uh, Berkeley hasn't shown a stellar kicking game yet. Um, you know, maybe get another score before the half. Third and ten as Barkley will go in an empty set. Quick drop back as Barkley. He steps up. He throws it and he, he gets his man as he will be brought down by the Kaiser defense at about the 45. Yeah, good catch there by Antonio Sanchez for about a 20-yard game. Timeout, Berkeley Springs. So now we're getting into a, an interesting area here. 40 seconds left. Berkeley Springs knocking on the door on the Kaiser side of the field with that spread offense and Barkley slinging it all around here. They can make up this yardage pretty quick if they control the clock well enough. Yeah, with a 19-point lead here, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to bring a blitz here, see if you can't get a sack to get a negative play here. Well, the Kaiser defensive ends are back there licking their chops whenever they see Barkley in an empty set. Of course, you run the risk with that, you know, of, of Barkley reading that quick and hitting the open receiver. But, <clears throat> again, with a 19-point lead right here before the half, I think I would take a chance with it. Guys are showing a two-deep look. Guys are running Anthony Mealy and Sammy Bradfield back at safety. Snap back, pressure coming. Barkley is rolling deeper and deeper. He's trying to look for something. And he tries to throw a quick dump off here to his back. It will go incomplete. Benny Oates bringing the pressure off the side on the blitz there. <laughs> Barkley's lucky no one got to him there. That would have been a loss of almost 20, 25. <laughs> as, as deep as he rolled on that, that backside there. Did make the smart move of getting rid of the ball, though. Stop the clock, save that last precious time out in these situations. Of course, in high school, the clock does stop after every first down, so that is a... Got a tight trip set out here. Snap back. Pressure coming. He's going to throw it out to an open receiver towards the sideline. Stiff arm the Kaiser defender. He's going to go down the sideline and step out of bounds. Stop the clock. Great that job is. there by the Berkeley all line picking up that blitz, and Gavin was able to find that open receiver on the right side. That is number six, Sean Lord, who made the reception. Twenty-eight seconds remaining in the first half. 
They're on about the 28-yard line. So. Let's see Berkeley Springs answer here. Quick draw back. Barkley waiting, waiting, waiting. Takes a hard shot on the play. Both Gabe Ryan and Braden Keller got to him. Yeah, that's the clock. The clock that's got to go off in Gavin's head. He's got to know that ball's got to come out at that point. He got to live the experience of the cream and an Oreo there. There you go. Barkley coming back out. Shot in a pistol set here. One back trailing. Brings man in motion. Good throw underneath. Will be good for the Berkeley Springs first down. That stops the clock with 15 seconds. Ashley Briscoe watching for Berkeley Springs tonight. And that's part of the reason why we love doing this stream. Not only for people in, the, in our local area who, who watches the streams, this is a, 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 you know something awesome for people for the, for the away teams. You can't make the travel or can't make it to the games. Way for you to be involved and, and watch your local school as well. So we thank everybody from the Berkeley Springs area who's watching tonight's game as well. While we got a quick timeout, we want to thank our sponsor, Burlington First Baptist Church. Pastor Tom Caldwell holds services every Sunday. You can listen live on 107.1 FM and on Facebook. Thank you, Greg Harvey. We love we love providing the coverage. <laughs> Fifteen seconds left to go in the half. Indians knocking on the door inside the red zone one more time. Kaiser running with a four-down line. Snap back. Throw is high. And will go incomplete out the back of the end zone. Yeah, just a little bit too much on that. Um, good design. Try to hit uh, lower on the slant there. play this right you got two shots at the end zone uh, can't really take anything short of the first down at this point so the down markers are really irrelevant unless it's something right out of the sides you know right at the sidelines yeah they got to try to target something either in the end zone or towards the sideline so they can step out Barkley with a back to his right side three receivers out left Snap back, quick drop, he's looking. He's stepping up in the pocket as pressure comes. He's trying to look, look, look. He throws it to the end zone. Sea of hands. Ball's on the ground. And incomplete. We had about six men in the phone booth there in the corner of the end zone. <laughs> yeah, uh, either team had a shot at that ball. Um, maybe an ill-advised throw there. Uh, maybe out of the back of the end zone would have been a little bit better, but... Uh, all in all, looks like setting up the last play of the half. And big play here for Berkeley because they do get the ball starting second half. So the score here and getting the ball back keeps this a football game. Keeps this game alive for them. Thank you, GW Easton. Snap back. Has to go to the end zone here. He throws it back, and it is intercepted on the play. Kaiser linebacker the making a couple of minutes. rumbling and stumbling. Caden Youngblood gets the pick. Good play by Youngblood. Reading the quarterback's eyes, making the interception there to close out the half. Yeah, so, big play there. Big defensive stop. Great job by the Kaiser defense keeping this Indians offense in check. Well, now we go into the half here. Kaiser up 26 to 7 on Berkeley Springs. We'll come back a couple minutes before the end of our uh, 20 minute halftime here. We'll throw you up uh, some stats, um, just talk about how the first half went. So, for the time being, we'll take a quick intermission during halftime and we will be back at the five minute mark of our 20 minute half.
The Tiger High School Marching Band is proud to present their 2021 field show, School of Rock, inspired by the music of the 1980s. The show is divided into three sections. Part one kicks off with the upbeat Grand Illusion, Renegade by Six. Part two is the rock ballad Beth by Kiss and features trumpet soloists Bryson Bush and Blake Rogers. Part three is the showstopper Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. This piece features flute soloists Ashlyn Barney and contain, contain sections which highlight the Kaiser High School drumline. The 2021 Kaiser High School Band is under the direction of Suzanne Ward and assisted by Christopher Ward. Head field technician Sabrina Parks, color guard instructor Candace Lowry, additional assistance by Corey Annabelle.
Okay, it's time for the 50-50 drawing, if you would. Take out your blue ticket. The winner of tonight's 50-50 for $100. The number is 988302. Again, the 50-50 drawing is 988302, and that would be the blue ticket. If you have the winning number, you can come up here to pick it up in the booth. We're on the third floor. Again, $100, 988302. Again, just another announcement from the athletic department, a reminder, students and children under the age of 10 are not to be left unsupervised without a parent or guardian of running around the stadium and being able to serve their safety. Again, no one is permitted under the bleachers, behind the field house, in the handicapped parking lot behind the stadium, behind the concession stand, or hanging out at the top of the Please do not hang on the fence or swing from the rallies at the concession stand. Again, this is for everybody's sake. Thank you.
buying an automobile isn't supposed to be hard. Hi, I'm Fred Timbrook Jr. and at Timbrook Automotive, we make car buying easy. When you buy from us, you can expect your experience to be transparent and stress-free. For your convenience, we have locations in Cumberland, Oakland, and Kaiser, which means you can get the finest cars at the lowest prices close to home. Visit us today at any of our locations to experience the Timbrook difference or shop online at timbrook.com. Determining whether you need emergency care or not requires special training. The next time you visit an urgent care, ask if your doctor is board certified in emergency medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Rana Mathias Monso. I'm board certified in emergency medicine and I'm trained to recognize when a condition may require more than just an urgent care evaluation. I believe in treating each patient individually, not just as another number. Health Matters Urgent Care. Better medicine, exceptional care. Barton Boulevard, next to the Bel Air Plaza. Welcome back to our halftime show. Our main stat man, Mr. Vic Clay, doing his thing. Gave us uh, some stats to report on here for the half. Uh, rushing for Kaiser, we have Benny Oates, two carries for 31 yards. Anthony Mealy, two carries for negative four yards. Uh, that one was primarily on that, that one run there in the backside of the, the end zone. We were backed up. Hunter Van Pelt, sadly, one carry for negative four yards. That's because he's had three touchdowns called back. He has 180 total yards and negative four on the board on the books. Chase Evans, five carries for 38 yards. Seth Healy, three carries for 20 yards. Logan Rotruck, one carry for seven yards. And then uh, the main one, uh, I think he's having an okay day. Sammy Bradfield has five carries for 238 yards and three touchdowns. Currently averaging uh, 47 yards a touch. Yeah, you would think that uh, Berkeley's definitely going to have to co come out of the locker room saying, what are we going to do to stop Sammy? You know, it's uh, there's been a lot of other weapons throughout, but he's definitely been the knife there um, to stop. Berkeley made the adjustment late in the half to get out of that six-man front. Um, they're going to have to they're going to have to control the edges now. Um, make they're going to come back in this. They're going to have to make Kaiser throw the ball to beat him. Uh, Logan Rotruck didn't have any passing attempts in that first half. Seth Healy the, was two for three for 48 yards and a touchdown. One completion to Seth Sines for 14 yards, and then the 34-yard touchdown to Braden Keller. The only uh, stat that we really have for Berkeley Springs is Gavin Barkley is currently 11 for 27 for 126 yards, and then the one interception there in the end zone. Yeah, Berkeley uh, doing a good job spreading the ball around. Um, definitely looking for uh, Lord when they're throwing the ball. Number six seems to be a favorite receiver. And then here late, Antonio Sanchez. Uh, but the big surprise has been uh, number nine, Evan Thompson. He's got the lone touchdown uh, for Berkeley Springs um, on a drive that consisted of four running plays and no passes. One of the most impressive things for me, uh, you know, this is week two for Berkeley and technically week one for Kaiser. But these guys are, are in really good form right now. I mean, not a lot of offsides penalties, not a lot of dumb things. We've seen some holdings and, you know, some things like that. But uh, as a coaching staff on both sides of the ball, you got to be happy with the way your teams are performing. Yeah, I mean, Berkeley Springs came out. They're running those four or five wide sets. They're spreading the ball around. You know, I, I, it's curious to see what they're going to do about uh, the offensive line protection here in the second half, whether they're going to bring someone in maybe as a tight end, tighter on the line, or maybe, you know, keep bringing the backs in in the backfield just for the extra protection because right now their, their five-man front isn't holding Kaiser uh, from the pressure up the middle. So we'll see how they're able to adjust here in the second half in pass protection. Yeah, definitely. Um, the, the, the Berkeley Springs line has a task. I mean, uh, as we talked about, uh, Braden Keller, you know, he's had a, a stellar day on the outside there. Um, and just the pressure that they're getting. Berkeley's also fortunate that Kaiser's had several drops in the defensive backfield. Without those drops, um, you know, this is a completely different game. Yeah, a good handful of interceptions that could have been but sadly it fell to the ground. I, I'm still curious if that, that one on the backside sideline over there if that, that by Anthony Mealy, if that, if that itself wasn't yeah. an interception. With, 
Wish yeah. we could have gotten that one a, a second look. But all in all, Kaiser maintaining good possession here into the half. Yeah, Kaiser's protected the ball well. Um, the, really, no, the only turnover was the very first play, offensive play of the game. Um, but since then, uh, protected the ball well. And the kids are ex executing the game plan very well. As far as uh, the other story for the top of the, st you know, um, it's hard to judge both quarterbacks just based on a quarter. Uh, you know, Logan only had the one pass attempt that was a, a pass interference call. Um, but, you know, both successful. You know, it's hard to say 26-7, you know, where you could be with both of them. So I would expect to see both of them, uh, you know, maybe Logan in the third or Seth in the fourth or vice versa, though. I would think Coach would need to see a little more to make that decision. And I don't know if you got to see there from some of our Facebook comments and stuff and YouTube comments that we brought up, uh, you know, you had a good number of people saying that, you know, watching from great Cape era, watching uh, for, for Berkeley Springs, somebody uh, posted there watching from Ohio, another one in quarantine watching yeah. from the house. We love having you guys interacting with the streams. Yeah, here we go, Johnny Porter, watch, watching from the couch while in quarantine. Good job. Make, make use of it. That's right. <laughs> I'm glad to bring you some high school football action. As both teams are heading back to their respective sidelines, just a reminder that Berkeley does receive the football in the second half here. So they'll start out on offense. I do see some players on the Berkeley sideline, uh, you know, in street clothes as well. So it looks like they're down a couple, um, <clears throat> a couple players there. But all in all, it's great to see these two teams playing tonight, and I'm sure it's great for Kaiser to get on the field and really get going here. An absolute gorgeous football weather. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better night tonight. Clear night, not hot, not cold. I mean, it feels like a fall Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Benny Oates, the lone captain, going out for the uh, useless halftime meeting here um, to make sure that Berkeley Springs still wants the ball. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I wonder if the referee's looking at him like, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you want it? <laughs> you don't want to give it to them? While we've got a second here, we want to thank Belt Paving for running our production bus with their generator that they provided. So, once again, thank you, Belt Paving, for powering our broadcast. As we said, Berkeley will be receiving, and they'll be – they'll be – Driving towards the scoreboard here in Kaiser um, with a 19-point deficit to overlook here. Um, big first play, big first drive for Berkeley. This, uh, again, if they hand the ball right over to Kaiser and then Kaiser puts another one on the board, not to say it's over, but it doesn't. It definitely hurts their chances if they can't It does can't widen out the barrier anymore. a little bit. It would have been nice to see how they could have capitalized if they would have scored there on that, that final play of the half. You know, you go in 14-26, and then you get the ball back, say you score again, I mean, it's a 21-26 it's a game. You're right there. Right. So, Yeah, that's a, but such a great job with the, the, the defense there. They, they've had a few moments this year, Ben did not, or this game with Ben did not break, um, but uh, been up to the task from the, from the start. I wonder if uh, during the halftime uh, Mr. Youngblood was, was bragging to his defensive backs, like, hey, I can catch the ball. Where are you guys at? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he was. Now Kaiser are going to line up for the opening kickoff here, the second half. And there will be two men deep for Berkeley Springs as we line up here for the kick. Quick shot down to around the 20. He's going to bobble the possession and just fall down on it. Good job there. Not much that you can do with that return. Once you bobble it, um, the, the defense is going to be right there on you. So secure the football and let your offense go to work. Antonio Sanchez making the smart move just to drop. And now Berkeley Springs will take over possession to begin the second half at around the 19-yard line. Kaiser defensive front much unchanged here. Keller and Ryan out at the DN spots. Single high safety. Snap back, quick handoff inside. Looks like Thompson on the carry there. Give him about five. 
But this is the perk of wearing a spread offense is you, you force the defense to widen out and you really re have to rely on that front four and those two inside backers to be the ones to make the stops up front. Yeah, you, you create your own holes, um, your, your own running lanes as you make the make your way up the middle. Pistol set is Barkley. Another handoff up the middle there. Thompson will cut back and gain a couple. I, I know it's a staple of the of the, the spread offense to, to not block the end and read the end, but man, these guys you know these guys are having a day. Uh, Gabe Ryan ran that one down uh, just from behind, unblocked. The high school level, that's that's a tough play. Third and three for the Berkeley Springs offense. Single back to Barkley's right side. Snap back. He's going to quick drop. Look for the underneath route, and it will fall incomplete. Number six, Sean Lord. You're looking to get a Lord there. Uh, Sean Lord. Now fourth and three for Berkeley Springs. Berkeley Springs showing in the huddle. Uh, Coach knows the importance of this drive and not giving the ball back to the dangerous offense there taking a real risk here deep in their own territory fourth and three let's see what they got high snap handoff up the middle and it looks like he's going to roll and get it about a yard past the sticks yeah good second effort there uh, by Thompson good hard run up the middle gutsy call by the coach it pays off keeps the drive alive Now, here's something we haven't seen yet today. Oh, they're lined up a little tighter here. Instead of spread out. And our handoff up the middle. And wrapped up by Anthony Mealy and friends. A good gang tackle there by the Kaiser defense. Um, Mealy stood him up and had his uh, help come in. Three-yard run. Not quite sure who the first man in that was in on that, but Mealy came in and helped clean it up. Yeah, that's the only kind of uh, almost a power type formation is when they run that tight trips set. Now they're going back out to the four wide, out of the pistol. Kaiser running dual safeties. Snap back. Quick little bubble out to the halfback. Makes a man miss. And he will dive forward for the first down. Yeah, nice run after the catch there by Thompson. Um Nice little bubble screen. Make one man miss and get Honor down the ball. field. <laughs> our our PA announcer here keeps keeps referring him as uh, Connor Duvall. We have Duvall listed as number two, not nine. Might be a mix up on their end. We'll just have to keep calling him number nine then. <laughs> Snap back. Quick handoff with nowhere to go is Thompson. Well, that was great. Trey Reed, the first time we see number five in the backfield. Caden Youngblood filling in and closing the hole up, number 54. Same one who got the interception there late at the end of the first half. Yeah, great job sniffing out that little trap play there. Um, guard came across, stood straight up, and... Uh, he was able to read that. Young Blood was able to sniff that out pretty quickly. Three receivers out wide to the right. Barkley's going to throw it into the soft spot. Brought down by number 24, Chase Evans, is the receiver. Another good positive connection there by Gavin. Just a good third of the zone. Take what they give you, give your first down. He's really efficient with those quick three-step drops and just finding the man sitting in the soft spot in the middle of the field. Motion man coming across from right to left. Snap back. Quick little. Ball's on the ground. Ball's on the ground. Picked up on the play. Why not? It's Sammy Bradfield making a man miss. And finally wrestled down. 
didn't get a chance there to see who punched that out. There was a whole host of Kaiser players there to pump it out. It was a good route. It was a, it was a good underneath route. And uh, sadly, the, the receiver just lost control of it, I guess, in the, the gang tackle there by the Kaiser defenders. Yeah, that's one of those tough ones. He's fighting for yardage. You know, ball comes out, can't fault the kids, you know, trying to get what they can get. But a great play by the, the defense to get the ball back. Put your team in great position. Sammy Bradfield able to just pick it up and go. Kaiser offense takes over inside. Quick drop as Road Truck throwing it to the end zone. Incomplete. Logan Road Truck back under center for the Golden Tornado. They've held true to their, their quarter alternation. Yeah. Receiver had a step there on the outside. Looked good. Um, you know, just a ball touch overthrown. But we I like a, the call there. I really do. You get the turnover, go right to the house. We have a man down for Berkeley Springs back towards the corner of the end zone. While we got this injury timeout, let's take a minute to take a word from one of our sponsors. Hi, I'm Logan Del Signor, realtor with Cobalt Banker at Hometown Realty in Kaiser, West Virginia. I've been with Cobalt Banker for three years now, servicing West Virginia and Western Maryland. Prior to joining Cobalt Banker, I graduated from West Virginia University with a degree in marketing and sales. It's a 21st century world we live in, and you need someone with 21st century knowledge and expertise to get the job done. I'm a full-time and full-service agent. I've helped clients in the commercial sector, residential properties, investment properties, and with lands and farms. If you're a seller, I'm there with you from the day we list the property until the day we go to the closing table. And the injured player on the play makes his way back over to the sideline. Seems to be okay, walking under his own strength. Thank you once again to Logan Del Signor and Coldwell Banker for being a sponsor. Road Truck will keep it. He has a blocker out front, and he will take it to the house. Number 53, Connor Bennett. What an maybe it's the offensive lineman in me, but what an absolute steamroll of a block. He took this man. Almost 15 yards back. Yeah, that was a fantastic job. This, this guy's are lying. has been doing it all night. Um, the, the the backs are, are, are you know running four or five yards before they're even touched. Logan uh, took a, saw the green and took advantage and a nice run to the touchdown. Great play, Logan on the quarterback power run there. Great lead block on the play by Connor Bennett. Sprang him free and let him walk into the house. And with the extra point, Kaiser extends their lead up 33-7. Yeah, great job there by the offense. Um, again, like the call, going for the home run ball for the pass. And then uh, Logan does it with his feet coming into the end zone to extend the lead. Once again, I want to thank our scoreboard sponsor, Kaiser Fox's Pizza Den. For being a part of our broadcast and being the scoreboard sponsor for this season. Use code Kaiser Football Online to save 10% on your order tonight. Kurt Kesner and company always doing their best to help out with the Kaiser High School Athletic Program. Yeah, we just played that ad uh, for Caldwell Banker with Logan Del Signor. Um, a lot of people might not know that Mr. Del Signor, who was playing on that ad, is actually on the Kaiser High School coaching staff. So he, he does a little little dual role there. Whenever he's not out here coaching the team on the evenings, he's out selling houses. So Once again, reading the body language here of Berkeley, they've definitely lost a step. That was a pretty good blow right there. They had a good drive going, and then that fumble, and then the, the real quick score. Um, you know, nothing's over, but it's a tough battle from here. Very good squad, though. And Ernest with a quick little pooch out. 
towards the 30. Recovered by Lord. Hard block on the play. Lord shaking, bacon, trying to make some men miss, and finally brought down. Get off seven penalties here. Down. You have a dual crackback. Looks like Landon Rhodes was hit on, on the crack back block on that play, able to get up. On the far side of the field, though, Hunter Van Pelt walking with a little bit of a limp. I look to see him stretching out his leg, might be cramping up. Yeah, first couple weeks this heat, uh, you know, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Some teammates helping out uh, Hunter Van Pelt out over there at the 50-yard line. Taking turns, stretching out the calf. Hunter jumps up and says, no, I don't want to come out. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and unfortunately, since the referee saw it, he will have to come out for at least the play. I got three teammates over here helping stretch out the leg. Number 31, Tristan Root, freshman, is actually going to come in and play. Tristan Root, number 31, the younger brother of uh, last year's quarterback, Gavin Root. Actually, uh, me and Vic up here coached him ourselves uh, at the youth level a couple years back. Quick little screen out to the side. And brought down on the play. Going right at him, picking at the new guy on the field. You know, it's a good coaching move there. Looks like we did miss a hold on the outside there. Um, you know, as, as Root was getting held pretty good by the and the uh, lead blocker there. One thing uh, definitely, definitely missed from last year is listening to the fan base get upset. <laughs> Down here below us, you can hear him yelling, hold, hold. But all in all, it's going to be about a six-yard gain for Berkeley Springs. If Braden Keller gets Braden Keller gets any better jump, he's going to take the snap. He was a step away from taking Gavin down as soon as that ball was snapped. Chase Evans with the tackle on that play. We're going to have about a third and short here. If Berkeley Springs has a, uh, a hard count or a, a two or three count on them, they could probably get an offsides pretty easy here. But Pistol set, three receivers wide right. Quick handoff up the middle. And it will be good enough for the first down on the play. Good tough run there by Evan Thompson, number nine. Thompson's been the grinder for this uh, for this Berkeley Springs offense. With any time they needed the tough yards, he's been there to grab it. Yeah, tough sledding in the middle there, uh, but definitely some hard runs, and we've seen some bursts of speed from him as well. Snap back to Barkley. Pressure coming. He throws it deep. And this one is picked off by Seth Healy. Healy makes a good read on that. Uh, ball's overthrown and uh, makes a real nice play on the ball to bring the ball back to Kaiser. Seth said, you ain't throwing it in Healy's house. Finally got the pick after missing a couple earlier in the game. Now the offense taken back over with Logan Road Truck under center. Logan with a little more bounce in the step after that last touchdown run. Road truck in the shotguns set. Hand off to Sammy Bradfield. And he will go down for probably his shortest carry of the day. Only four yards. You're going to really hurt his average today. <laughs> Good tackle on the play. Motion coming across. 
Handoff to Bradfield, who tries to stretch out for a couple extra there. Gains about three. Yeah, good spot here to see uh, see what the young quarterback can do, maybe with a play action or a dual read here, something he can read and pull. Excuse me, that was Anthony Mealy on that carry. Hand off to Bradfield, good cut. He's trying to spin out of it and then brought down by a horde of yeah. Berkeley Springs defenders. Good job there by Berkeley Springs, shutting that play down right at the line. Um, good stop they needed, you know. You can't afford any more points. Uh, defense does their job, gets them off the field or gets them into punt formation. Strong defensive possession for Berkeley Springs there. One man back for, for Berkeley Springs for, on the return. Snap to Ernest. Kick is up. Takes a Kaiser bounce. That helps the net average a little bit. Comes to rest on the 15 yard line. The ball down to the 16 yard line. We're going to be first down for the Berkeley Springs Indian. While we're making this possession change, I want to thank our sponsor, the Kaiser Moose, for being the official watch party for Kaiser High School Golden Tornado football. If you aren't able to access the stream at home or wherever you may be, Kaiser Moose Lodge 662 will have it playing for you. Stop in, grab a bite to eat, and enjoy some football. Trips near side. Gavin calls for the ball. Handoff out wide. Brought down by Benny Oates. Good open field tackle there by Oates. Benny went down hard there. Looks like it may be a cramp situation. That's what it looks like here. Where's the pickle juice? Yeah, years for, for years when we coached, uh, you know, the, the first couple games, we preached and preached to these young athletes, you can never drink enough before the game, the day before, um, you know, you just expend it all. Um, but part of the game is they're rubbing through the calf there, working through. We have a moment here. We'll step away from a word from our sponsor. Thank you to the Wheelhouse Academy. As Berkeley Springs offense lines back up here, quick drop back to Barkley. Pressure coming backside and in and out of the hands of the receiver on the far sideline. Really nice touch pass there by Barkley, throwing it over the defender. Dangerous pass, but a very nice touch on the ball. Road truck there on the defense. Three receivers wide right, one to the left. Snap back to Barkley. Step up, pressure coming. And almost Sanchez on the play. Yeah, it's a, it was a great job there by the defense getting him. Um, if he had just a half second more, Sanchez had the hole, um, but uh, unfortunately the ball fell out of the hand with the hit. Uh, brings in the punting team for Berkeley. I believe that was number 22, Parker Anderson, that got in there with uh, Braden Keller. Defense, 
And we have penalties down on the play. Uh, timeout, Kaiser. Not 12 on the field look like. I, I was doing a quick count, and I kept getting 11 or 12. So if you're, if you're second guessing it, good call there. No use taking it. <clears throat> At the timeout, the Kaiser. So while we wait for this Kaiser timeout, we'll take a minute to step away with a word from one of our sponsors. Determining whether you need emergency care or not requires special training. The next time you visit an urgent care, ask if your doctor is board certified in emergency medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Rana Mathias Monso. I'm board certified in emergency medicine, and I'm trained to recognize when a condition may require more than just an urgent care evaluation. I believe in treating each patient individually, not just as another number. Health Matters Urgent Care. Better medicine, exceptional care. Barton Boulevard, next to the Bel Air Plaza. And thank you once again to Health Matters Urgent Care. As Berkeley Springs lines up for the punt, Kaiser with Van Pelt and Bradfield back. A little bit of a high snap kick is up, and it is very short. Luckily, gets the Berkeley Springs bounce to get a couple extra. Ball put it out for the 41 yard line. Didn't get out of the, didn't get out of your end zone. Balls on 41. Tough spot for the Indians here. Um, see if Kaiser can punch another one in. Kaiser lining up in Berkeley Springs territory to start the possession. Ball on the 41. Road truck back and shotgun. We'll fake the hand off the Bradfield and run up the middle. He's going to lower the shoulder and get the first down on the play. Yeah, good job selling that fake. Um, great job with, with Logan there selling the fake um, and, and hitting that power and hitting the hole in the middle. Once again, his line's just opening up great holes for the hole, for the running backs. About 12 on the play. Man in motion, snap back to road truck. He's going to roll out to the right side. Quick dump off underneath to Van Pelt. You have a penalty flag. Road truck making the smart read on that. Both of his deeper routes were pretty well covered. Took what the defense gave him. In the neighborhood of a legal man downfield. But, yep. So an eligible receiver downfield, backs the tornado up. Now looking at about a first and 15. Man in motion, hand off the Van Pelt out wide. He's got the speed to get to the corner. He cuts it back in and he's gonna take it in. And do my eyes deceive me? I don't see any yellow flags on the field. Van Pelt finally gets a carry. It doesn't get called back. Great job for Van Pelt there. He's, uh, anybody in a black and gold deserves a touchdown today. He does as many as he had called back in the first half there. But great job on the edge and just showing the speed. Just a great job by Hunter uh, hitting that edge and turning the Jets on. Hunter put in some work in the weight room this year. You know, he, whenever he came in, to high school he was a smaller guy lighter and you know he's put in the work he's, he's gained uh, they said about you know 10 pounds in muscle and we have a botch snap on the play Seth Ernest going to try and make something happen and he's tripping over his own feet can he stretch it across and no good effort by Ernest on the play yeah those are always uh, jailbreak plays there see what happens but a good job by Ernest to try to get to the corner Seth Ernest trying to make something happen. Kickers are athletes, too. He gave his best effort. <laughs> yeah, that touchdown drive, uh, you know, good, good, again, just keeping the ball on the ground, controlling the ball, controlling the clock. Um, 
working working their game plan, and, and you just can't say enough about this line. Kaiser's just dominated the front, and uh, it's it's reflected in the rushing numbers. And you know that was one of the things that Coach Mike Staggers really really reiterated to to me whenever I talked to him was going into last year they had a lot of depth and in, and in, in experience in their skill positions, but they had a young line. This year. They're all but one player is returning on this offensive line, and it's really showing how that, that full year of these guys being together and another year older has really shown with, with how well they've been blocking out here today. Yeah, they're, and they're just going to get better as the season goes on. They haven't gelled. They're getting in live. This is their first live contact as far as full contact and going through games. So very impressive showing so far by the Kaiser line. The unmentionables that always say they don't ever get the headlines in the paper, but they do the work. That touchdown drive brought to you by Tim Brook Auto, the official sponsor of our play drive. And Seth Ernest sending the kick back. Collected at the 15-yard line by Berkeley Springs. And gathered up at the 25. Sanchez on the return there. Got swallowed up at the 25. So at this point when you're Berkeley Springs, you just got to get back to running your offense. You got to get positive yards, get your first downs, go back to your reads. You can't get 32 points in one drive, so... Got to work positive. Got to keep working towards the positives here. And now's not the time where you get sloppy. You just keep working with what you got. You got guys like this who's putting in great effort. Evan Thompson making some MS and getting the first down. And we have a man down on the play for Berkeley Springs. And it looks like another cramp situation. Yeah, definitely another cramp rubbing on that calf backside. We're going to have to have a post-game talk with both of these coaches about the, the need for electrolytes. Both teams are playing hard and, and uh, you know, giving their all here. We'll step away from our word from our sponsor for this injury timeout. Buying an automobile isn't supposed to be hard. Hi, I'm Fred Timbrook Jr. and at Timbrook Automotive, we make car buying easy. When you buy from us, you can expect your experience to be transparent and stress-free. For your convenience, we have locations in Cumberland, Oakland, and Kaiser, which means you can get the finest cars at the lowest prices close to home. Visit us today at any of our locations to experience the Timbrook difference or shop online at timbrook.com. Looks like the injured player was number 64, Demario Cook, uh, being escorted off the field there with a cramp, getting some water in. We'll definitely see him back out on the field here. But a big first down there and a hard run by uh, number nine, Evan Thompson there. Man in motion comes across. Pitch forward and wrapped up on the play. Yeah, that little touch pass again. And once again, once you stop there, you're, that play's pretty much over unless you're on the edge. So. Great job by the center of the, the defense to swallow on that up. The yeah, Kaiser's got some they got some beef on that interior defense. You got number 74, Jacob Keating at 6'3, 305, and then Luke Anderson at 5'11, 290. Yeah, they can definitely clog up the middle. You're gonna you're gonna have to have some some muscle to move them out of the way. So when you got them two controlling the middle of the field, and then you got guys like Gabe Ryan and Braden Keller coming off the edges, it can be a pretty dangerous bunch there on that front. And Thompson trying to make something happen on the play there. But kind of yeah, defense good. flowed. Very good read by Youngblood on that. He saw that power the whole way and came right in and knifed in to make the play. 
And Chase Evans in there as well. Just a great job by the defense sniffing that one out early. If I could put one bug in the Berkeley Springs ear is I'd really start working on a play action game. They've got a pretty decent run game going, but they don't haven't seen much of the play action. It's all been straight drop or straight pass. And intercepted on the play by Kaiser. That's number two, Benny Oates, and he's still dragging guys. Ball intercepted by Benny Multiple players down. Looks like Gavin's still down. The quarterback's down. Then I think that may be Keller. Yeah, Keller cramping up. Looks like Gavin's walking off. Young's walking off on his own power there. Braden Keller came hard on that backside pressure and caught Gavin Barkley right as he was releasing the ball. Pretty hard collision. It's asking a lot of a high school quarterback to have that defensive end not unblocked. I know I sound like a broken record, but, man, there has been free shots on him several times. And, and you know, that spread offense really really relies on being able to make the quick throw, but if it's not there, it really exposes that quarterback. He was able to get the ball off, but not to his intended receiver as Benny Oates made the interception on the play. Kaiser offense will take over on the 38. At 32 seconds left here in the third quarter, Kaiser looking to punch another one in here. It looks like we got a couple younger guys rotating in on that offensive line now for Kaiser. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure how much cramping we're going to have to worry about in the fourth quarter here. Kaiser maintaining their backfield, it seems, but they're rotating the offensive line as of now. So we'll see if Kaiser's going to start rotating in some of these younger guys. Snap back to Road Truck. He's going to roll out. Quick dump off to Sammy Bradfield. He's at the 30, the 20, and tackled out of bounds on the play by number seven, Lakota Sanders. Yeah, good play design there. I like the uh, little run pass option there. Logan could have tucked it, but he was able to get the pass out there to Bradfield. Good completion by Logan Rotruck. Kaiser rocking Camden Stewart out wide. Tell you what, you want you want somebody to, to do a down block on a linebacker from the outside position. That's the one you want. 5'11", 260, lined up out, of, out wide there. That's the end of the quarter, the third quarter. You got Kaiser Tornado leading 39-7. to seven. We'll step away and come back for the fourth. more time from our production bus there. And we're back here at the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, 
and Kaiser are making their way up here as they are knocking on the door. I mean, you got to give Coach this game plan. You know, uh, Healy's right back here to start the fourth quarter to see where the offense goes. Yeah, he stayed true to his quarterback rotation as Healy rolls out here. He's going to decide to tuck it and keep it, and he is swatted down. Number seven, seven, Lakota yeah. Sanders. <laughs> That's became a kind of a staple play for Kaiser these last two years is that quarterback rollout RPO. Yeah, Gavin did that very well last year with the reads and then the strong running game. And both of these both of these quarterbacks, like I said, I, I don't envy Coach's decision. Um, it's a good good spot to be in, that's for certain. Man in motion. Fake, Healy's going to keep it. He's going to run, and he's going to go into the end zone. Seth Healy, touchdown. Yeah, number seven, Seth Healy on a great job on the quarterback read there. Good job by the line. Um, like I said, opening those holes and a great job finishing off the run by Healy. I tell you what, both of these quarterbacks have looked really good on these quarterback powers and these reads, these read plays that they've been running. See if we get a little better snap here. Snap is back. It is up and good. Oh, never mind. Off the right upright. That breaks the score to 45 to 7. And let's take a look at some scores from around the area here. Falcons beat the Trojans 21 to 8. And Jefferson handling Sharando pretty well, 41 to 14. Kaiser's next game will be next Friday against Oak Glen. Be kind of a redemption game for Kaiser High School. You know, they lost to Oak Glen away last year. And, uh, you know, they're, they're looking for a redemption with Oak Glen coming home tomorrow. Yeah, this yeah week. definitely. Good opening night for Kaiser, um, you know, Berkeley had a good showing here, but just kind of ran out of gas. Kaiser just too much overpowering them. Um, you know, if you're the Kaiser coaching staff, you got some things to clean up. But all in all, the game plan worked. Uh, offensive game plan worked. And um, defense bent but not break did a great job. Given seven, only giving up seven points so far to this Berkeley offense. Considering um, this offense scored almost 60 last week. Yeah. And, and you know, Gavin Berkeley is one of the best young quarterbacks I've seen in a while. Um, with his calm pressure and, you know, releasing the ball. Um, just some unfortunate circumstances led to where they are at this point. But um, Kaiser are doing a great job of commanding this game. I mean, I, I have to give my, you know, my hat off to, to the Berkeley Springs team and all because this is, I mean, this is a very good squad. You know, I, I ain't going to let any, you know, whatever score dictate. This team has been really surprising over the past, you know, couple years and how they've developed into a, a strong offensive squad. Oak Glen's tonight, Oak Glen's uh, scheduled game that they had tonight was actually canceled, uh, kind of in the same situation as how Kaiser was last week. You know, a couple different COVID exposures, so teams are forced to, you know, take the week off. So hopefully they are good to go next week and we can have a, another strong night here at Tornado Alley. Good to see Gavin Barkley back out on the field um, after that big hit. Barkley back in pistol. Takes a snap, hands it off up the middle on the play. The back makes a couple men miss. He's bouncing. He's breaking tackles. He's still going. And finally brought down on the play is Evan Thompson. This man has been an absolute workhorse for this Berkeley Springs run game. Yeah, good hard run there. Um, you know, good power play up the middle. Good, good run, way to finish the drive. Hunter Van Pelt there to finally bring him down. He's definitely not the type of kid that you can arm tackle and hope that he just falls down. This kid runs hard. Yeah, runs downhill behind his pads. Good for him. Yeah, this Berkeley Springs team has a very solid core group. Drop back as Barkley hits the man underneath. It's his favorite target of the night, Sean Lord, on the on the reception there. About 12, 
15 yard game. Brought down by Caden Youngblood. It'll be a first down for the Indian offense. Once again, though, this has been kind of the story. You know, Kaiser keeps everybody in front of him, keeps the ball, get him down even close to the goal line, and then uh, really tighten the belt. Three receivers out to the left. Another handoff up the middle here to Thompson. This time he has nowhere to go as he is wrapped up by the Golden Tornado defense in front. Loss of about one on the play. Yeah, great job by the interior there. Just swallowed that up. Anthony Mealy, first one in there from his outside linebacker position. Four receivers split. Lord comes in motion across the formation. Quick drop back is Barkley. And it is intercepted right to the hands of Hunter Van Pelt, who's going down the sideline. And he is brought down at the 40. Yeah, good good play there. Uh, recognizing the zone throw. Jumped in the front of the zone and uh, made a good work. Gives the ball back over. And some fresh, clean uniforms heading out to the field for Kaiser. So in case you haven't noticed in West Virginia, uh, the 35-point rule is in effect as the clock continues to run. It will only stop during injuries. And so now for Kaiser, there's a couple rotations in the backfield. We got a uh, – looks like – Just a little confusion here, as always happens. Yeah, as we're rotating in some of these younger guys. We got Chris Fury in there at wing back. Hand off on the play, gains a couple. Gain of about four. Sammy Bradfield, as he checks out. And it looks like uh, in the backfield right now, we got Chris Fury and Tristan Root back at, in the halfback position. EJ Guy out wide. Hand off the route up the middle, gains about three. It's always good in games like this to get these guys in, these guys bang heads all week just like everybody. And this is invaluable experience that they can get. Um, definitely learning curve. The game's different and, and full speed. Number 32, Keith Lawrence in the slot. Mitchell Man is Fury. Snap is arid. And Healy does the right thing and just drops on it. And Kaiser will decide to just punt this away as our clock continues to roll in tonight's game. Yeah, like I said, good teaching moments here. Good time getting these guys' experience in. Um, kudos to the coaching staff bringing these guys in, let this game finish out. And Berkeley Springs will have one man deep to return the kick. Snap is clean, kick is up, and it is a high, short wobbler that just kind of bounces there. Not a very far punt at all. Gets a little bit of a Kaiser bounce. Pressure was coming. Yeah, very close side. to being blocked there, so. Once again, with the running clock here, we have five minutes winding down. Um, if, again, Berkeley Springs just looking to, to, to put a drive together, end the game on a good note. Um, obviously, the W is not going to happen tonight, um, but just got to end on a positive note. As both teams line up for this Berkeley Springs drive, Snap will be back to Barkley, handoff up the middle as he is brought down by Gabe Ryan and Jacob Keating. <clears throat> a 
Looks like we're going to get some subs coming in here on the defensive front. Yeah. Yeah, once again, while we have a few minutes here, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for help putting this on. And a, and a big shout out to Allegheny Media for taking the lead on this and doing just an outstanding job uh, from the quality of the picture to the graphics to everything that's shown. Uh, just top notch service all the way around. Barkley's going to try and wind this one deep, and it will go to his receiver. And he is brought down on the play. That is number six. Number six, Sean Lord on the play. Looked like a Kaiser player got rolled up on that one pretty badly. Looks like Josh Shoemaker. Yeah, just an unfortunate fall there. No, you know, nothing uh, intentional there. Just legs got tangled up, and I'm sure that's going to be a sore one to work, work off of. A good pass there by, by Gavin, again, just showing poise and calmness in the pocket and throwing the ball. Snap back, hand up, off to the left side, makes a man miss. He's keeping his balance and finally brought down. Good hard run on the play. Evan Thompson once again. Just brings us inside of three minutes for the game. I want to thank Burlington First Baptist Church for being a sponsor. Pastor Tom Caldwell holds service every Sunday. You can listen live at 107.1 FM and watch live on their Facebook page. Thank you, Burlington First Baptist Church, for being a sponsor of Kaiser Golden Tornado football. Barkley's trying to roll. He's trying to make something happen. He's going out wide. And he completes it. Receiver makes a couple people miss and gets close to the first down marker. Yeah, great job by Gavin keeping that play live. He ran about 35, 40 yards. Uh, to get that ball out of his hand in time, but he does a has a very good elusiveness to him in the backfield. I'm about to start calling him uh, Gavin Gavin football because he looks like Johnny Manziel back in his Texas A&M days, just rolling around, scrambling back and forth, making mag magic happen. Snap back to Barkley. Takes a hard shot, throws it to the end zone. Receiver is open and touchdown. Berkeley Springs. Yeah, great job by Gavin hanging in the pot in the pocket there. Took a big shot, but uh, hanging, hung in the pocket and threw a nice touchdown pass. Um, you know, here in the waning minutes. Again, if you're Berkeley Springs in this situation, you try to take away a positive. Um, you know, that's a good good end to this drive for them. Good play by Sean Lord making the catch in the end zone there. And once again, Gavin Barkley staying in there, backside pressure, getting hit as he throws, and still just drops an absolute dime. Kick is up and good. As Berkeley Springs scores, scores now 45-14. We'll step away from a word from our sponsor. Buying an automobile isn't supposed to be hard. Hi, I'm Fred Timbrook Jr. and at Timbrook Automotive, we make car buying easy. When you buy from us, you can expect your experience to be transparent and stress-free. For your convenience, we have locations in Cumberland, Oakland, and Kaiser which means you can get the finest cars at the lowest prices close to home. Visit us today at any of our locations to experience the Timbrook difference or shop online at timbrook.com. Determining whether you need emergency care or not requires special training. The next time you visit an urgent care, ask if your doctor is board certified in emergency medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Rana Mathias Monceau. I'm board certified in emergency medicine, and I'm trained to recognize when a condition may require more than just an urgent care evaluation. I believe in treating each patient individually, not just as another number. Health Matters Urgent Care, better medicine, exceptional care. Barton Boulevard, next to the Bel Air Plaza.
As we got this game winding down here, we want to thank our fourth quarter official sponsor, Health Matters Urgent Care, providing better medicine and exceptional care to the area. And a little squib kick will go out of bounds. And I assume Kaiser's going to take possession and probably just knee it, at, knee it out or maybe just Yeah, one. you would think they would just knee that or maybe a couple quick guard traps, something that's not going to maybe just get be some, attended to go to the house. Yeah, I guess to get a couple quick plays in here for these younger guys, just get some reps um, and then and knee it out. Overall, I mean, for, for anybody from the Berkeley Springs area who's still watching, you guys have a very good young team. Um, like I said before, looking forward prior from the past couple of years, this team has really been developing, and uh, you guys should be proud of these young men. And same with these. Yeah. Healy out there directing traffic with some of the new faces on there. Looking like we're missing one. Looks like they're missing a back out here. Leave it, leave it to the freshman, Tristan Root, to be the late one out. <laughs> I'm sure his brother won't let him live that one down. And just a quick snap on the play. Good spin move on the Little play. He's 32, there. Lawrence. As he will step out of bounds. Keith Lawrence hitting the B button on him. Spinning it out. Yeah, and I know people are, uh, you know, saying, why are you running the ball? And they're, you know, we're not. It's hard to tell these kids to not do it. They, they're, they're trying just like everybody else. You Especially know. these younger boys who are trying to get these reps in. Yeah. They want to show out like, hey, even though, even though I'm a freshman or a sophomore, I, I, can, I can play out here, yeah. coach. Hand off to Lawrence once again on the backside. This time he's bouncing it out. And looks like he was, go down looks like he tried to go down and stay in bounds there. It just didn't work yeah, out. That will that should do it for the game. That's 18 seconds. Uh, once again, just a very dominating performance here by uh, by the guys at Gordon Tornado. Just just impressive football all the way around. Yeah, Keith Florence, good young player. Two strong runs here to close this game out. And as we wind down to the final whistle, the Kaiser Golden Tornado have beat the Berkeley Springs Indians 45 to 14. Yeah, overall, um, like the score doesn't reflect this game. Uh, Kaiser did do a great job. Um, Berkeley Springs kept it close for a while and had had their chances there early in the half. But uh, overall, just a great great performance, dominating performance by Kaiser. And we got Vic back here adding up some final stats so that we can give to you guys before we close out tonight's broadcast. I think it's I think it's safe to say if uh, we could give a player of the game tonight, it had to be Sammy Bradfield. Yeah, it seems like a while ago that he had that first half, but he he, uh, he definitely got onto it. So I, Sammy definitely would be the vote for the player of the game. Sammy Bradfield ended the day with eight carries for 243 well, yards. You know what, Chris? I think touchdowns. I want to change my vote. I'd like to give mine to the offensive line because yeah, they okay. they just played outstanding. I mean, really nothing pressured. I mean, every running back had a hole. So, uh, you know, those guys wouldn't do what they do without them. So, but great, great job by that yeah. offensive line. So, let's, let's, let's give it a split. You know, Sammy, Sammy and the O-line both, both putting in work. Sammy in with eight carries for 243 and three scores, and the offensive line just being absolute maulers out there today. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I, I, just a good performance all the way around. Uh, don't envy Coach in the quarterback battle. I don't think he solved anything tonight. He still has two <laughs> really good quarterbacks to choose from, which is a great problem to have. So, well, we thank you, you all for listening on tonight's broadcast. I'm Chris Welch. With me is Shane Corwell. We want to also recognize our production team, Katie and Ryan Brenneman, and then our uh, man running the camera downstairs, James Lohr, for doing all the work that we put in today. You know, we were kind of short on our crew. And, uh, you know, we, we, we tried to make the stream work the best that we could, so we thank everybody for being a part of the stream tonight. And on behalf of the Kaiser High School Golden Tornado, we'll see you guys here next week.